I think the perspective of SMBs is a bit different um, on the benefits of virtualization. Uh, if you look at uh, large enterprises, then the drivers for virtualization are primarily consolidation, uh, driving uh, efficiency in the environment, disaster recovery, high availability kind of benefits, and also very importantly, uh, flexibility in how they uh, purpose and repurpose workloads. SMBs, on the other hand, I think consolidation is still a big driver because they're able to drive some initial upfront cost uh, benefits by reducing the number of physical servers they have to deploy. And, and the other big benefit that uh, is specifically um, valid for SMBs is um, disaster recovery. So virtualization is a good way for SMBs to implement disaster recovery in, in a more affordable way. So those are, are key drivers for SMBs. An SMB environment probably doesn't have so much dependency on or, or the requirement for flexibility of workloads because they work Workloads are not that volatile. Uh, I think primarily around uh, the the return on investment with virtualization. I think that's a question that um, mid-market customers, uh, SMB customers, still have, and that's where you know uh, vendors need to help customers and partners need to help customers understand uh, what is the return on investment. We typically advise that if you're looking at deploying about 15 uh, servers, then uh, it's it's a good time to look at virtualization because that could uh, significantly reduce reduce um, the hardware spend on those physical servers. Uh, I think in a couple of ways, one is uh, it's quite obvious that you can uh, reduce the number of physical servers that you are going to uh, deploy and SMBs are, are growing. Uh, that's where a lot of growth is. So it's a good time to consider leverage of virtualization to reduce the, the growth in physical servers they may have in the environment. So that's an obvious benefit. But also I think virtualization is making disaster recovery more affordable for SMB customers because now you can you know have an environment which is you know for instance blades with uh, integrated storage uh, SAN and, and tape environment where you're doing backup of virtual machines and you're able to immediately recover if one of the servers fail otherwise disaster recovery can be expensive to replicate a whole uh, you know even if it's a small size data center replicating a data center is an expensive proposition I think the primary challenge would be around the the skill sets within the organization uh, most SMBs if you look at the typical profile, they would have uh, generalists who are managing the, the IT environment and, and typically perhaps a couple of generalists that are responsible for the whole environment. So I think uplifting the skill sets of these uh, individuals within the company in the first step. And, and the good news is, you know, virtualization is not a complex technology. Um, so it's easy to, you know, go through the, the training cycle, understand the impact of virtualization and also how, what are the processes that needs to be implemented in the organization to work in an environment which is more a uh, shared server and storage because virtualization uh, means you are sharing the uh, the resources um, so so SMBs have to understand you know the impact of processes the skill sets in the organization and address those as they plan for virtualization if you look at a typical SMB infrastructure then uh, they're, they're perhaps running uh, different front-end uh, mid-tier applications you know there will be mail, mail and messaging there could be DNS server file print and print server uh, there could be a, a ERP or CRM um, application and again, um, they could have remote sites as well. So I think it's an opportunity for SMBs to look at uh, how do they uh, really uh, streamline their infrastructure, uh, leveraging technologies such as Blades and virtualization. So you, you look at uh, Blades technology such as the HPC 3000, which is designed for our SMB customers. Uh, it's an integrated platform with um, server storage, tape, um, all integrated into that same bladed uh, environment and you leverage virtualization then to deploy those applications so you are you are you know putting all the infrastructure in a box you're reducing the number of physical servers you're running them as virtual machines and the benefit associated with that is also the efficiency in managing that so I think with with a couple of IT staff without adding more IT staff you are in, in increasing the efficiency in how you uh, manage that environment I think you have to start with getting the hardware infrastructure right blades is a good example blades with shared storage and there are products which are design for mid market such as the HPC 3000 blade environment so you start with the right hardware infrastructure which is designed for virtualization um, and then you need a hypervisor and there are hypervisor providers such as VMware or Citrix Microsoft uh, the good news is you know you have these different technologies and all 
you know offer similar or you know depending on your requirements um, different features uh, so you standardize on a hypervisor and then more importantly you need uh, the right set of management tools so that you can you know uh, deploy the virtual machines easily you can manage them if you consider virtualization you're now running your applications in virtual machines which run on physical servers so you you have to now manage physical servers and virtual machines so the management software becomes very important so having a management uh, standardized management platform that lets you do capacity planning, management of workloads becomes important.